Hi everyone. Have you got t-shirts that are too short and you'd like to add an extension to them? I have a client with twin daughters and um, she came to me with these two black t-shirts and an old white t-shirt of hers and she said look I can cut that up and add the extension for the girls. So that's what I did. Um, so you could find an old t-shirt somewhere that you've got that you don't want to use or you know obviously you could use fabric as well I mean it's up to you. Now being twins I used the bottom section that already had the hem on it I didn't have to worry about that I just had to cut that to the right length and, and add it but this one was in obviously above that so I had to hem it and what I've done there is I've overlocked both edges and then one section I've turned up for my hem allowance. Now I talk about this in my book about how I sew stretch fabric or knit fabrics. You'll see that I'm sewing on the what I call the top side or the right side and I've also got see that foot that I'm using that's a plastic buttonhole foot. Now my machine is a Janome. I'm sure others you know you'll have a similar foot in your sewing kit. Um, if you use that standard, um, you know, that silver one, or I don't know what color yours would be, but you know, it's flat on the bottom. If you use that, what can happen is that it can tend to stretch the fabric. Whereas I've just found with this buttonhole foot, because it's got the ridges underneath, it tends to support it quite well. Now, the other thing that I do is, you notice I'm using my Jean Genie just to get over the beginning of the seam. I don't use it at the back end, it just pops out because it keeps sewing fine. But you know how sometimes when you're folding up two seams and it's quite thick, um, if you just try to keep sewing, while some machines are really good at sewing over bulk, and I know they are, particularly the more modern ones, if you want a little bit of a hand, the Jean Genie works really well. If you wanted to purchase my book, um, Clothing Alteration Secrets Revealed, it's actually got the Jean Genie in there. So what I'm doing is, um, I because I've done this like thousands, literally thousands of times, I'm sewing so that the needle is going into the existing, the existing overlocking, like the middle of the overlocking. Um, you can actually, it's quite surprising, you can see and feel the overlocking on the right side. You'd be surprised, so if you try it, um, and if you give that fabric a stretch, you'll find that it stretches really well. Now, because I want to imitate a cover stitch, um, you know, as in two rows of stitching, and there are two widths, there's a narrow and there's a wide, so what I'm doing there is I'm doing um, the narrow and I'm I've got the edge of the, the, if you are facing it, looking at it now, there's the left hand side of the foot and there's the right hand side of the foot. So, so I've got the left hand side of the foot but the inside of that left hand side of the foot is right, um, going right next to the first stitch line. And then I'm just keeping that original stitch line against the inside of that left side of the foot. And by doing that and keeping it right there, then what's happening is I'm getting a perfect stitch all the way around, which is the same width apart. If you wanted to have it a little bit wider, you know, because sometimes there's a wide, you would place the center of that left hand side over the um, stitch and that will give you a wider length and you can just play around with that anyway. So I've done that and I've stitched it now what I'm going to do is just pin it on to the garment. Okay so now I'm going to attach that to the garment. So there's only a couple of things you want to do here. Obviously you know whenever you sew any piece onto something you want to attach seam, uh, side seams to side seams so that's what I'm doing. I'm pinning it side seam to side seam. You'll also notice that I've got the pin facing so that when I put it in my machine and I'm sewing, I can pull that uh, pin head out towards me. So I'm just lining them up and I'm putting the overlocking um, onto the top row of stitching on the, um, the black. And what I want to do is I want to sew, I'll change to a black thread and I will sew right over the top of that seam so that it's not really noticeable. 
So I'm just going to speed up the video here and just show you. So I'm going around pinning it. Like I said, the pin head is faced that way so that, you know, I can pull it out as I sew. And that's just making your life easier. You know, like if you have, have it the other way around, of course, it's going to be difficult, isn't it, to, to pull the thread out. You're going to be kind of cack handed. So once you've done that, um, you need to go around and just check and make sure that you've caught it because remember I was sewing through the um, the overlocking and I made a mistake. I missed a little bit. So I wanted to leave that in because um, basically when you make a little mistake like that, don't unpick the whole thing. Just unpick that little section and re-sew it. Now you can see there that um, you know it's finished. It looks like it could have been purchased that way. Um, it's a completely different color, so you could do lots of different contrasts. Um, and if you leave the original T-shirt with the hem hanging over, then it looks like you've got, you know, a top underneath or something. As I said, if you want to purchase a Jean Genie, you would have to go to my website. I'm the only one who sells it. Um, and I know shipping to the USA and UK is horrendous. That's the Australia Post. They charge an arm and a leg. Um, Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, see you next time. Bye.